हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू मैट्रिस चैप्टर टुडे इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड लर्न हाउ टू राइट अ थ्री बाय थ्री मैट्रिक्स इन जनरल फॉर्म जस्ट हैव ए लुक वेरी केयरफुली वी हैड लर्न ए वन वन ए वन टू ए वन थ्री ए टू वन टू 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 थ्री थ्री वन थ्री टू एंड थ्री थ्री वी हैड लर्न हाउ टू राइट इट इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर ए वन वन मीन्स फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट कॉलम सेम वे ए टू थ्री मीन्स सेकेंड रो थर्ड कॉलम राइट सो वी हैड लर्न इट इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर टूडे वट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न we are going to learn how to write a m by n matrix where m is number of rows and n is number of columns right general matrix we are going to learn please have a look very carefully so first of first of all what we will do first write a11 same way then a12 a13 that means first row third column going in the same way moving ahead somewhere let's suppose jth column comes it is j j for jack and then moving ahead a1n now let us try to understand the first row first row first column first row second column first row third column first row jth column and first row nth column why till nth we have made because total number of columns are n right that is why till n nth column we will write it then second row a21 a22 a23 then see a to j i am going to write because second row again jth column is there in sequence and then a to n 2 means second row n means nth column so same way we can write for third row fourth row and going ahead let's suppose somewhere ith row is also there same way like jth column we considered we can consider somewhere ith row is also there so a i1 a i2 a i 3 and moving in the same way i get a i j because it is i th row and j th column and at last we get a i n right so it is i th row somewhere i have taken and j th column is also going on and moving in the same way i am having m rows in total when i am having m rows in total that means my last row will be mth row a m1 a m2 a m3 a m j that means mth row jth column and last element will be a m n mth row and nth column see m rows i am having here and n columns i am having here and it should be placed in this brackets square brackets forming it a matrix so this is the generalized form of a matrix where m number of rows are there and n number of columns are there and what we need to take care first row second row going ahead ith row mth row and if i talk about columns first column second column third column jth column i need to take and then moving ahead nth column i am going to take so uh, from here what we are learning like a m by n matrix generalized and short form what can be written it can be written as a i j m by n please have a look very carefully here this one this is the main result which will be used a m by n matrix in short form can be written as in square brackets instead of writing all these 
just write a i j see this is the main point main element which we had written a i j in square brackets and at bottom we need to write m by n m by n means m are the number of rows n are the number of columns and do remember uh, these all are the elements a11 a12 a13 so expressing all these elements a i j is selected to write generalized element which is being used for all right i hope you are clear now how to write generalized form of a matrix let's move ahead to the questions where this concept will be used look at this question construct a 2 by 2 matrix a equals a i j c a i j is used here which we have learnt just now whose elements are given by a i j equals i plus 2 j whole square upon 2 see how we are going to do this question let's try to understand first of all it is 2 by 2 matrix a i j 2 by 2 matrix how i can write see my a is a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 see this is 2 by 2 matrix because it is having two rows and two columns in our yesterday's lecture we studied it is a square matrix now see i need values of a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 and a 2 2 and all these values i can find from this given equation what my given equation is i am writing again a i j it is equal to i plus 2 j whole square upon 2 this is given to me right now if i want to find value of a 1 1 that means i need to put i as 1 j as 1 in this equation only nothing else i need to do so instead of i i have put 1 and instead of j i am using 1 again then whole square divided by 2 it's very easy just use i as 1 and j as 1 same in the right side also see 2 into 1 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so we get 3 square upon 2 and 3 square is 9 upon 2 that means value of a 1 1 comes out to be 9 by 2 so this is the way we can find the value of a 1 1 now let us see for a 1 2 a12 same method same formula will be used look here a12 means value of i is 1 and value of j is 2 see i is 1 j is 2 just put it in the given equation let us try to find out the answer 2 into 2 is 4 4 plus 1 5 5 square is 25 so we get 25 upon 2 you can do the calculation then a11 a12 after that it is the turn of a21 let me write value of a21 it will be 2 plus 2 into 1 square over 2 just what i did instead of i i am using 2 and at place of j i am using 1 2 into 1 2 2 plus 2 4 4 square is 16 16 by 2 is 8 so its answer will be 8 please do calculation yourself then a 2 2 let's try 2 plus 2 into 2 whole square over 2 a 2 2 means i and j both are 2 2 2s are 4 4 plus 2 6 6 square is 36 36 by 2 18 so value of a 2 2 will come out to be 18 so my 2 by 2 matrix a 2 by 2 matrix will be let me just put the values i just need to put values here a 1 1 was answer is 9 by 2 so 9 by 2 at this place a 1 2 is 25 by 2 let me write 25 by 2 here 
a21 is 8 and a22 it is 18 so see this is my final answer i was told to construct a 2 by 2 matrix based upon this condition and we have formed this 2 by 2 matrix having these four elements 9 by 2 25 by 2 8 and 18 this is very easy concept we are going to do one more question of same concept have a look have a look at this question construct a 3 by 2 matrix a equals a i j whose elements are given by a i j equals half of modulus of i minus 3 j see in this question first of all we need to form 3 by 2 matrix so we must be very clear that 3 by 2 matrix means 3 rows and 2 columns let me write first its generalized form first of all a11 a12 a21 a22 a31 and a32 you must be clear with this general form that these are three rows and two columns are there i need to find these six values to do this question first of all i must be clear with this and second thing a i j see this is modulus sign in our class plus one we have studied that modulus of minus two is plus two modulus of minus one is plus one so negative sign is removed while opening this bracket that means while finding out the modulus or what we can say modulus of minus 5 is 5 modulus of 5 is also 5 see if value is positive then answer is positive but if value is negative still answer is positive you must be clear with this concept because last year we have studied this now let's see using this formula if i am going to find this first element a11 what value i will get 1 by 2 modulus of instead of i i am having 1 so let me put 1 here minus 3 into instead of j i am still having 1 let me see what will it become 1 minus 3 3 into 1 3 is there 1 minus 3 is minus 2 right and minus 2 when i'll uh, what next step it will be only 2 negative sign will be removed only plus 2 will be there based upon the concept we have just studied and 2 and 2 cancelled we get only 1 that means value of a11 value of a11 is only 1 right now let me see value of a12 what will i get based upon this given equation only i need to find value of i i need to use 1 so i am writing 1 here instead of j i am to write 2 let's have a look 3 into 2 is 6 1 minus 6 is minus 5 now this negative sign will be removed and i will get only 5 by 2 right so this is a12 then next is a21 a21 means put i as 2 and j as 1 what will we get 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 is minus 1 that means we get 1 by 2 only so this answer is 1 by 2 next let us uh, check for a22 a22 it will be half 2 minus 3 into 2 what will we get let us see 3 into 2 is 6 2 minus 6 is minus 4 so we get minus 4 here next step this negative sign will be removed we get 4 by 2 and this 4 is cancelled our final answer is 2 only so a22 is 2 then these 4 elements we have already found now let us check for next element next element is a31 a31 so value of a31 how to find just we need to put here value of i as 3 minus 3 into value of j as 
1. See, 3 minus 3 is 0, right? And modulus of 0, it is 0, 0 by 2. So, final answer of A31 will be 0. Very simple calculation is there. You can check. Then A32, half of 3 minus 3 into instead of J, let's write 2. Now, see, 3 into 2 is 6. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. So, in modulus, I will get minus 3. Negative sign will be removed and final answer will be plus 3 upon 2. That means value of A32 will come out to be 3 by 2. So, finally, what we need to write, how to write its answer? Since I was to form 3 by 2 matrix, A3 by 2 matrix, I am going to write. And how? Value of A11, it is 1. So, let me write 1. Next value is 5 by 2, A12. Then A21, I found 1 by 2. So, let me write 1 by 2 at this place. Then A22, its answer is 2. Then A31, its answer is 0. And A32, A32, its answer is 3 by 2. This is how, first of all, what today we have done? First, we learnt what, how to write A, I, J. Then, how to construct a matrix based upon the given condition A, I, J when it is given to us. So, this concept today we have covered. Now, I am giving you few questions as an assignment to do. Please check those questions and match the answers. Look at these three questions. You need to try these three questions. One is for 2 by 3 matrix. Second is for 3 by 3 matrix. And third is for 3 by 4 matrix. Three different conditions are there. And answers are also given for you to match. So please try these questions at home. And try to match the answers. If you find any problem, then write it in the comment section. We will continue next topic tomorrow. Thank you.